So how much time would you say you spend sitting each day, just sitting? Well, if you're the average person, you spend about eight hours a day sitting. Uh, you could spend up to 15 hours each day just sitting down somewhere. And surprise, this is not very good for your body. Excessive sitting, which is defined as any time you sit more than two hours per day, leads to what health professionals call sitting disease, which granted is a hilarious name until you realize that it can lead to some major and surprising health problems later down the road, including an overall shorter lifespan. You know, whatever. I know that it's we're doing a bit, guys, because, uh, you know, we're telling you about how bad sitting is for you while we're sitting, but that's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna take a stand. If you're willing and able, then take a stand with me while you watch this because sitting can be bad for you. Here's why. First, it's ruining your posture, or it could be, because it turns out there's an art to sitting. And if you sit excessively, then you might also be sitting improperly. This can lead to an inflexible spine and herniated lumbar disc, but that's not it. Wait, there's more. It can also give you kyphosis or lordosis, which are the, uh, the, the fancy office names for uh, what we call like a hunchback or a swayback. So what is good posture then exactly? It all goes back to an even distribution of weight and alignment. So your shoulders align with your hips aligning over your knees. And that is the opposite of slumping over a desk. Two, atrophy. You see, sitting too often can make your muscles acclimate to sitting. It's like you're training your muscles just to sit. And over time, this can lead to what's called disuse atrophy, which means that your muscles lose flexibility and bulk and mass. But it doesn't just affect your muscles. This atrophy can also cause your bones to lose density, making them brittle, more likely to break. It can lead to osteoporosis. Are you still sitting? Three, slowing metabolism. It sounds weird, but go with me here. In the time it takes you to watch one episode of Game of Thrones, that's about an hour of sitting, your body reduces its production of the fat-burning enzyme lipase by 90%. And if you don't reduce your caloric intake at that point, you know, the food that you're eating, then you're going to gain weight. Additionally, this will lead to your body managing insulin less efficiently, which could lead to diabetes. But it's not just your body. Sitting can also ruin your mind. Think about it. When your body is not working as efficiently to circulate blood and oxygen and important hormones, then your mind starts to become a little bit dull. And this can add up as well. In fact, in 2012, the CDC conducted a study and they found that employees who spent the day standing while they were working, you know, like at a standing desk or something, were overall more happy. They had higher self-esteem and they were in a better mood. More specifically, 87% of those respondents who were standing said they felt more energized, and 71% of those same respondents said they felt more focused. Fine, dude. I'm sitting. I'm standing up for the outro, though. Lastly, one hour of sitting. Every hour that you sit can increase your chances of having a disability. It's true, a 2013 study by the Journal of Physical Activity and Health found that adults over 60 spend an average of nine hours per day sitting. And this study also found that for every hour they spent sitting over that nine hour average, they increased their chances of acquiring what's called an activities of daily living disability, which is a mouthful, but it just means this. An activity of daily living is stuff like uh, using the restroom, dressing yourself, cooking, all the normal little chores we have to do as human beings every day. So how much higher are your chances of not being able to do this basic stuff for each additional hour you spend sitting? 50%. 50%. I'm standing. I'm standing. 
And these are just a few of the ways that excessive sitting can cause harm to your body over time. But hey, don't take it sitting down. I'm sorry. Seriously, you can just go uh, take a walk on a lunch break or walk around your neighborhood and it'll make a big difference to your body overall as you age. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, we hope that you liked it. Uh, if you would like to learn more about sitting and your health, check out our article, 10 Ways Sitting Wrecks Your Body on HowStuffWorks.com. Yeah. yeah. Make that fort we were talking about. <laughs>